Hello, star seeds and light workers. This is a message for you. For those who don't know what that means, you may want to just sit and listen and see what awakens within you. Star seeds heard the calling of Earth. Earth was in need of help to bring consciousness and awareness. And a lot of star seeds heard the call of Mother Earth and came to Earth for the collective conscious awakening, which is what we have been going through at this time. So some star seeds, you know, they go through their own awakening experience and some can be really painful because they forgot who they were when we came to earth, you know, as child, we didn't know, you know, our parents didn't say, hey, you're a star seed and you're here on a mission. And that mission is to bring light and love into the experience because we were not told that, at least I wasn't. And I had to go through my own awakening process and to see why I was gravitating to certain books, always looking up at the sky, feeling um, all the, the the pain of other people. And as an empath, light worker, starseed, a lot of things were getting triggered within myself. So, um, and now coming into this realization in regards to the 3D, the 5D, love, fear, and all of those things, starseeds have come to help awaken and bring consciousness to the planet. And as a light worker and empath, it is my job and duty to also on my channel, not just to do regular readings um, for those that are not interested in, in this type of reading, but to also to be true to myself and to put out messages like this for those that are ready to hear the call. Um, for those that are not wanting to listen to this, I will be doing the other readings for the first half of May. Um, in the next day or two. So thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for leaving me a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell. Let's see what messages come out from the secret language of love. Divine animals, but I'm only gonna take one card so this doesn't go too long. And like I said, this is the time of enlightenment. This is a great time of awakening. The first card out talks about awakening and becoming very enlightened what is going on within the world at this time. So what is enlightenment? This is when you break through through the illusion of the matrix. This is when you really start to understand who you are and why you are here. So you're waking up from the old habits and the old mindset, the old patterns, and now you're recognizing, right, enlightenment. And this is saying it's now time for you to just really know that, you know, the process of enlightenment is, you know, it's, it's a process. So for you to relax and that all is well with this, right? So if there's any memories that uh, traumas that are coming up is just asking you, you're being told to really look at them and how you can bring light from that darkness that you have been experiencing. So the enlightenment card is about detaching from the experiences and really bringing yourself to a balanced memory and <clears throat> really coming into this place of wisdom. So you've come to see a challenge as the best thing that has ever happened to you. And once you have seen that, once you've seen all the challenges that have come here for you, what you get to see is the enlightenment, is why you had certain soul contracts, why you've had certain um, experiences that were very painful. All those were mere projection, so you can help wake up and become enlightenment of the experience. Absolutely very beautiful message here with the card of enlightenment. So let's go to um, work your... Uh, light workers, I love these messages because right now, especially during Corona, you know, people are running in fear, uh, you know, l watching news, you know, it's about really being discerning of what it is that you are watching and allow yourself, look at that, to align with life. And this says what is not aligned or needs to change. Absolutely. So the mirror is like, you know, it's it's actually breaking through the matrix. This is really asking you to see through the illusion of what you have been taught and what it is that they are, you know, um, posting on social media and what the news is saying. So aligning your life is really asking you, you know, where are you within yourself? You know, are you living your own truth? Are you waking up to your own truth? Are you waking up 
to the truth of, you know, what it is that you're here to do at this time. And when you really become to that place of alignment, when you really get to see things for what they are and not what other people tell you it is, this is when you break through the illusion of the matrix. This is when you are really coming into that place of alignment to your own truth. So it's really listening to your own intuition and really recognizing, you know, all the experiences that you have had because whatever your life was before is no longer, whatever that was no longer, like you're shifting. As you become enlightenment, you'll see that there's things that from the old life that you were experiencing are no longer in alignment with who you are within this life. And I love this card because it's all about change. And when this card comes out, it's asking you to really look at everything that you have experienced through the enlightenment and who you are to be within this world and what you are here to do. So it comes, this is when the time comes where you're really breaking through the illusions of who you think you were and really coming into this place of who you know you are. And you get to see, again, all the experiences and everything that now needs to go because you've outgrown them. So when you recognize through the shattering what is outgrown, within some relationships, within some circumstances, you can now reassess them through the enlightenment card and really bring all those parts of your own life back into alignment so that you are releasing what is it that you want to come through. So breaking through the illusion and now awakening to your own soul truth. Absolutely, absolutely divine, divine message here. So let's see with this card here. It really is right now during Corona. It is a time of awakening. This is a time to remembering who you are and it's coming out. You know, we're here to manifest and we are here to really go through um, this awakening process with other star seeds and with other light workers. And I'm going to take this one. Earth School. <laughs> I love this card. Okay. So it says life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Absolutely. You know, we've come to Earth to learn, you know, earth is about experiences. We are always in school, so this is the school of life. Like I said, the star seeds heard the call to come down to earth and we've come. So the school, earth school, is all about remembering that, you know what, you're just in class. So break through the illusion and don't get stuck. What are you here to learn? What life lessons? So whatever those are for you, it's actually, those are the things that your soul has pulled in so you can break through them and become enlightened of that experience and to shatter the illusion of who you thought you were or who your family wants you to be, who your friends think you to be. And this is now aligning you with understanding, with greater wisdom and knowledge of the experiences that you've come here to experience in this lifetime. So it's really asking you to align yourself. It's asking you to bring yourself to this place of remembering, you know, soul comes here for experiences. That is what the soul's calling is. We've come to experience life through what? Through coming to earth. Earth is a school, right? We're all in class, class is in session. So this really is, is such a wonderful thing. So ask yourself, you know, what have you learned? You know, what things were projected back to you? What were you able to break through through the illusion? You know, what fears have you let go of? Where have you shifted? Where are you now in alignment? What are you willing to let go of? What have you learned? As you keep learning and you keep ascending higher and higher, you get to see, you know, that we're all one and all these experiences, we're really here to help you by contract. We have soul contracts. So the soul contracts show up to help you remember, you know, if there's a pain or a relationship or whatever that it is that was really painful is because that soul is was signed up by you, by both of you, to have this contract to come into your life to help you remember through that pain so you can awaken to really learn to love yourself from the inside and to recognize that you are a co-creator. So that soul really loves you and because of the love agreement, the pain comes within the earth and you are to remember that. You're really remembering who you are and why these contracts have happened. These are the teachings of the earth school. And I love that. Look at this, what comes up, dark angel. 
And like I said, this is really recognizing the darkness. This is really coming yourself, bringing yourself out of that illusion, out of the illusion that you've been stuck in the dark, out of the illusion that things are dark within, again, what you're coming is in the enlightenment. You're really coming to see the truth of divine love that is always here with you. This is not a time for you to hang on to expectations because this is in regards to really looking at all the dark mysteries here that are here to help us learn, right? So within this card, this is about really learning through your dark experiences when you encounter darkness, you know, how you respond to it and really understanding that the dark or the light, you know, it, it is one. Without the dark, there is no light. Without light, there is no dark. And this is that reminder. So it's asking you here to really awaken. And, you know, some of the things that you could do with this is do some writing, automatic writing, um, do some creative work. So to help you grow, to help you break through, to help you. That's why there's that, you know, doing shadow work. So this is really coming into that place of really understanding, you know, whatever you've been going through, whatever difficult times, whatever you've been struggling with, it's now time to heal that issue. And this angel, the dark angel promises that even though there's been this despair, even though that there's been um, darkness, even though that you've experienced all of these things, not to lose hope because there's a lot of wisdom coming from the dark. Now you're shattering, letting go of the old belief systems, the things that have held you back and you're recognizing that you have set these things in motion to learn so you can dive into a higher consciousness. You're diving into the shadow and you are ascending. So this is asking you to really wake up to the experience and not to have attachments to why this happened, why is that happening, why aren't these things going on? It is asking you to break through that illusion and to really understand what lessons are you learning from your experiences that you're having absolutely absolutely divine beautiful message with the dark angel align your life <clears throat> and earth school here and i'm going to also pick a few um cards here from tarot just to get a couple bit more messages and yeah some of you are slow to wake up slow to let things go in regards to what your true north this is in regards to healing so when we have some of your waking up and it's okay everything is in divine timing so this is asking you to take your time this is not something that you rush into so you know the enlightenment part is a process it is not like oh today i'm awake and today i'm conscious and yes it can be it can take whatever time that you think it's going to take so it's saying to be gentle with yourself align your life yeah you know your wishes your dreams your hopes your desires your true north your purpose we are not alone we are part of a star family stardust whether it's a Pleiadian, octarian andromeda and larian syrian wherever that you are from, Ra, Ashtar, again, it, the, the list, you know, you may want to look at that and take the starseed test, you know, there's plenty on YouTube, but this is in regards to alignment and healing the darkness. This is also recognizing about divine timing, waking up to the truth and breaking through those illusions, the things that have held you back from your own divine um wishes for what you're here to manifest for what you're here to do and in regards to earth school let's see which card wants to come out for earth school well quite a bit wants to come out the world <laughs> and those fell back so yeah this is you know don't block yourself from your dreams don't block yourself from those things some of you could say you know my dreams haven't manifested it's because with that old mindset. So what things were holding you back, you know, it's our thinking, it's our old mindset. So you're to recognize that the things that didn't come into your life was for a reason to help you awaken to a, a form of recognizing that you are a co-creator. You just have to align yourself with that truth. And the world card is coming is that you've come here to complete that. You look at this, the world, right? The world, and then we have the star. So we are as above, so below. We are all connected. We're all part of the world. Each one of us has a piece to the puzzle. What, you know, you don't have to be um, an actor, an actress, or, you know, a writer with, um, with all these books out, or even a YouTuber who's well-known 
in order to have some kind of purpose or meaning. This is saying that, you know what, we're all here. We all have a piece to the puzzle. We've come to the world for the completion, to bring earth to what? To a place of consciousness, to a place of awareness, into a place of enlightenment. And it's here. It's here for what? It's here. Look at this at the bottom of the deck with the dark angel. I mean, you can't make this up. So we can come out of the fear come out of the illusions come out of anything that has held you back anything that has been controlling like i said you know um the government can be very it wants to control it wants to hold people back it wants to hold people in a place of codependency and addictions um by whether it's by food whether it's by alcohol whether it's by cigarettes whether it's by negative thinking whether it's putting fear into the world and you are to break through that illusion and to understand that it's time it's time to break through the illusion of fear and yeah and to learn how to love yourself from the inside out with the page of cups so this is in regards to you know not attaching yourself to the outer right you've come here to learn school of learning page of cups is learning how to really bring that love inward and so our you know, sometimes we have contracts where people leave us or you feel betrayed, abandoned, rejected, or not good enough. And this is saying all of these lessons, all of these is to break through that illusion, to align you with the truth that you are here to change the world in order to change the world. You must let go of the addictions, the attachments, the codependency, and the fears and learn that all you're seeking for is within and to drink that cup yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. What a divine, divine, divine message. And I will just take one more card here. And let's see. And then I'll bring a star seed. And I have too many cards that have fallen down on the floor. But this really is. And maybe I don't even need another card here. But I want to see which card flipped over here. The card that flipped over here is the High Priestess. So again, really tapping into your intuition. She holds the key and the book. The book is the Akashic Record. So really paying attention to your dreams, really understanding light and dark, really, really recognizing and bringing balance to the two. You know that light and dark both exist. So which way are you giving power to? High Priestess is very intuitive. She goes to the realms of the stars and brings back the knowledge, the wisdom. So really listen to your intuition. Tap into that wisdom. It's not about really just looking at the fears. Well, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, or I need this to be happy, or I need that outer to love me in order to be happy. That's the illusion. This is what you're breaking out of because what you're coming into is recognizing that we are all one, we're all whole. And you're here as Earth School to remember that, to bring that love inward and to be very playful within life too and to come out of any fear-based energies that have held you down and held you back. Let's close you out with a star seed message. And look at that, beautiful, I love it. So we have release. Release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity. And that goes beautiful with align your life. And then we have stillness at the bottom of the deck. And this is that letting go, letting go of the attachments of the devil, letting go of the fears, letting go of things that don't resonate with you. And sometimes we release people that are no longer in alignment with where we are now because we have learned, we've learned the lessons that we've needed to learn. And it's time for you to really go on your path, go on your path and stay very grounded and path to what? Uh, to awakening, higher consciousness and enlightenment. And here we have stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness and compassion. Absolutely, because it is to that place. There is no rush being in the flow. And when we still the mind, that is when we have, we are tapping into the Akashic records, to the wisdom that is here for you to really um, understand and gain and have those memories come back to why you are here. So this is absolutely beautiful for those that did not resonate with any of this. I'll be doing the readings. Um, for the month of May in the next couple of days, if you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell. Until next time, sending you much love, much light, and keep up the good work, starseeds. Namaste.